let's talk about some discussion ideas for the very, very far north. Hi, I'm Mary Wilson, online book club teacher and a homeschooling mom of four kids, though two have graduated from our homeschool and are in college now. The Very, Very Far North is one of the books that I used with my eight to 10 year old online book club this year, and it was a very popular choice with the kids. They loved the characters in this book, and it gave us an opportunity to have some fantastic discussions. The goal of this book chat series is to empower you the parent to also have meaningful discussions with your kids as you read some of these delightful books that might be part of your curriculum or just a fun read aloud that you have selected. All right, so here are three ideas for your discussions of the very, very far north. One, the very, very far north is a book that has been um, called a book for gentle readers. It is a gentle story. A lot of my students compared it to the feeling of Winnie the Pooh. So I asked the kids, what do you think makes this a book good for gentle readers? What does it mean that this story is gentle? And we talked about things like um, there's no life and death situations. There's no bullying in this book. Um, there's not a lot of suspense. There is maybe one kind of exciting moment. It has to do with sledding. But most of the time as you're reading, you know everyone's going to be okay. Um, we talked about how friendly everyone was and how kind they were to each other, that there wasn't a lot of suspense or action in this story. And I thought it was important to mention to them that you can enjoy a gentle book even if you normally prefer suspenseful or action-packed stories. You don't have to choose. You can like both. And you can like one more than the other, or you can like them both the same. All right, another thing that was fantastic to discuss while um, in book club for this particular book was character traits. I love to pick at least one book each year in book club to talk about character traits. And this book has plenty of characters to talk about and they are all so unique. So I usually ask my kids to pick one of the characters. We'll say, uh, you know, Dwayne the Polar Bear right here on the front. And I'll say, okay, give me a word to describe Dwayne and tell me why you picked it. What does Dwayne do or say? that made you say he was kind or friendly? Um, what does Major Puff do that made you say he was serious? And sometimes we might um, disagree on a character trait. One of those characters we talked about was Major Puff. Is he brave or does he just think he's brave? And I let them kind of debate and share their responses. The goal isn't to find the right answer. It's to empower them to defend their thoughts about the book. One thing that would be helpful for your kids is to give them a list. I always provide this in book club of character traits, maybe, you know, like 20 words that they can look down and select a word. So they're not having to just come up with it on their own. It can be hard for eight to 10 year olds to have an expansive vocabulary of adjectives off the top of their head to describe characters. So a great idea for them is to give them a list of character traits. All right, and the last thing you can discuss with this book, The Very, Very Far North, is the intrusive narrator. The narrator in this book talks to the reader throughout the story. Chapter one is an entire conversation directed at the reader, but then there are many other times that the narrator continues to interrupt the story. I highlighted them as I was reading all through the story. So you can read a few to the kids or discuss it as you're going along and ask, what do you think about this? Do you enjoy a narrator who talks to us? Um, is it getting annoying? Is it getting in the way of the story or is it adding humor? Is it adding context that is necessary or just fun to have? So that was another fun discussion um, to have with the kids. And of course, little bonus idea. You could discuss the illustrations in this story and what they add to the experience of reading. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a great time discussing this book in your homeschool. And if this was helpful to you and you have future titles, go ahead and hit subscribe and then leave another uh, title 
you would like to see me do in the comments. And then I will try to get to it. All right, everyone. Happy reading.